Well, he's a Metro Detroit native who has turned his passion for baking into a viral sensation. And now he's taking his culinary and decorating skills to Netflix. It's all for the show, Is It a Cake? And the show is exactly what it sounds like. Talented bakers who can make things look so real, you can't tell if it's a cake or not. And one of those bakers who is part of the show is Johnny Manganiello, also known online as Johnny Cakes. He lives in California now, but grew up in Gross Point Park. Thank you so much for being with us again. You know I follow oh. you on social media, and I think you're amazing. Um, Hot, stop <laughs> it. You're too nice to me. It's the truth. It's the truth. But first, remind <laughs> everyone how you got into baking as we look at some of your viral creations here. Uh, well, like I said last time, I had too much free time on my hands and I was locked up in my house for two years. I don't know if you heard about this, mm. but some of us, you know, <laughs> had to stay home for a while and find hobbies. Um, and the hobby I found was baking, baking hyper realistic cakes to be specific. Um, and yeah, I, I just I just uh, watched a lot of baking shows and now I'm on one. So it's sort of like I stepped into my TV. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Now, so all of that baking and your incredibly realistic designs have led to this opportunity to compete against other bakers who are artists just like you. So tell us about Is It Cake? Yeah, so Is It Cake is a Netflix competition show where we try to stump a panel of judges by making cakes look so real that they look uh, identical to uh, similar objects, even when they're like sitting right next to those objects. Uh, it's a really fun show. It doesn't take itself too seriously. It's hosted by Mikey Day from SNL. And um, it's been number one on Netflix for the last five days. So I think everybody's a little bit shocked by the success of this show. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. We all need something to enjoy. Like you said, after two years of being locked up, we just want some easy watching and, and this is it. But I have to ask you this, what is the pressure like on this show? I mean, with the time constraints and the specific mm -hmm. challenges that you have to meet, I mean, that's gotta be a little stressful. Yeah, I mean, when I bake uh, at my house, I have all the time in the world and I don't have to worry about the pressure of, you know, being on TV or having judges um, looking at every detail of my work. So it's definitely more pressure. But I will say the vibes of this show are so kind and, you know, um, there's so much great camaraderie on this show that I really did feel supported at every step of the way. So it was it was a joy. It was a little bit stressful, but it was mostly fun. That's good to hear. Now, speaking of fun, was it fun on set with SNL stars like Mikey Day and others? Let me tell you something. Mikey Day <laughs> is far and away the kindest celebrity I've ever met. I really mean that. Like, he cares about us. He emails us. He Zooms with us. He's He's... He's really a special, special guy. And um, you can get his zany sense of humor just from watching the show. And in real life, he's nonstop funny. Well, that's awesome. That's so good to hear. Now, let's shift yeah. back over to the cakes a little bit. So when you make cake like this, is it more yeah. important what they look like? Or do you focus on the taste as well? Or are you just focused on the artistry? There is no reason to make a cake that tastes like a brick. <laughs> there, I make cakes that look like bricks, but I don't want them to taste like bricks. So um, flavor is huge for me. I'm always experimenting with flavor and um, not just flavor, but texture. Mm. So I am of the opinion that cakes can and should look great and taste great. And you'll see on the show, the judges devour every single cake that every single contestant made. Yeah, well, they. I'm glad to hear that they don't just look good, but they taste good as well. Now, one really quick question for you. Um, what about yeah. using Rice Krispie treats to make specific molds? Yeah, so Rice Krispie treats are a really good thing to um, make to add to cakes. So I made an octopus cake once, right? And I made the tentacles out of Rice Krispie treat. Mm. Just because it's lighter, it's pliable, it's easy to mold. It's sort of like an edible clay, if you will. Yeah. Um, so that's a, that's a good tip for people at home who are trying to get into realistic cake making. If there are elements of the cake that um, you can't get into a specific shape because it's too hard to carve a cake, Rice Krispie treats are a great option for sure. Mm. All right, pro tip for all of us wannabe bakers at home. Okay, so where can okay. people follow your baking online? Yeah, I post way too much on TikTok and Instagram 
at the Johnny Cakes. Awesome. All right, Johnny, thank you so much for being with us. And of course, we're rooting for you. Thank you so much. Nice to see you. Nice to see